Hi everyone, welcome back to Transformers Toys for Kids. This week we're looking at Transformers Rise of the Beast Flex Changers. That's a little odd, I've never seen anything quite like these before. We've got Bumblebee, who is an Autobot. We've got Nightbird, who I believe is a Terracon. And we've got Cheetor, who is a Maximal. So three different factions there, let's flip these around to the back. And what's interesting is they don't even say how many steps they take, just that they flex change. So maybe they're one steps. I think you just have to lock everything into place once you do that one step. So Bumblebee, Nightbird, and Cheetor. All right, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's open them up and check them out. Bumblebee, Nightbird, and Cheetor are unboxed and ready to go. And they've got really nice looking robot modes. Lots of details to them. You've got this really cool, colorful, flexible band that's in there. It's really stiff, much stiffer than a rubber band, so I really don't see it breaking. And then we've got Nightbird, again, a new one to me. Lots of nice details there with a very interesting head sculpt and a purple band. And then Cheetor with the same color band that Bumblebee has. Look at that head sculpt, I like it a lot. All right, let's see how these transform. Let's start with Bumblebee. Again, there are no specific number of steps that you do. You just kind of unattach it and lock it in. So the first thing you're gonna do is take this chest plate and undo it because it just takes this rectangle here and goes into that rectangle there. And that locks it all in, so do that. And then you bring this whole part back and as you do, things will start to kind of pop in place almost and then you just have to lock everything in place. You see it's pretty much done. It's pretty much a one step. So we have to lock all this in place and this part's a little tricky because it's very loose. And then really the important tabs are back here and it's the same for all of these characters in terms of getting the back parts locked in. The transformations aren't the same. But definitely locking these in is extremely important. So we've got that and that's it. That's all there is. That's why I think it's so much like a one step. It rolls really nice too. Check out the front. They've really done a nice job getting the vehicle in robot modes to look really good. It's a great flex changer. Let's take a look at Nightbird. Nightbird's up next and the transformation is very similar to Bumblebee. Not exact though. So we're gonna unlatch it. Same latching system, rectangle to rectangle to hold it together. Bring this part back. Everything kind of flips into place, although I'm helping it with my fingers pushing up back here. And then again, it's just a matter of getting everything locked into place. So this one's a little bit looser than the Bumblebee. So let's start with the back parts. This one, instead of tabbing it in, you slide, slide this part in here, and then you slide this part in here, and that locks it in pretty nicely. So let's get the roof, and then that inserted, and I think it's done. It doesn't roll quite as nice as Bumblebee, but it rolls, and it's a nice looking vehicle. Compare that next to Bumblebee. Which one do you like better? Even though this is a new character with some pretty cool rims, I think I'm still leaning toward the Bumblebee. Last but not least, we have Cheetor, and he is definitely the most unusual of this whole group because he turns into an animal. So it doesn't look perfect as a cheetah, but the fact that they can turn this into a cheetah with just this little flex changer is an accomplishment. So we pull this out, which is different than the other two. So you see that just locks in right there. And then we flip it around like the other two. We have to make sure this back part comes out. And then again, he's all floppy until we get things tabbed into place. So we need to get this down and give this a squeeze go and then he has these little tabs one just kind of fell into place for me right there that these again like the others are super important that we lock those in so lock those in make sure the back is good and then he has legs unlike the others obviously because they're cars and he's ready to go as much as he doesn't look at Cheetor is finished <laughs> how silly does he look but again he looks pretty good for what it is he's a flex changer he transforms with a really strong rubber band now, his tail looks really stubby. My son said, where's his tail? But if you ignore this part, you can see what they were going for. There's his tail right there. But they needed this. You can see, obviously, the cheetah head here that goes on his chest, and this part locks in. 
So I like him. As goofy as he is, he fits in great with the other flex changers. Now I've transformed them all into their vehicle or beast mode. Let's see how difficult it is to change them back. I've had a little practice with this. So the first thing we do is we take this tab back here and untab it and then swing this back up and around while pushing with my thumbs. And see, it kind of just pops into place because of that flex changing rubber band. Tab it in there, get his feet oop, down this way and up this way and Cheetor's ready. All right, Nightbird, come here. Let's see if we can get you transformed pretty easily. So undo the tabs. You can push in with your thumbs and bring this all the way around. Let's see, gotta get yep, those out underneath and then tap it in. Yeah, that last little tab that holds everything together. And then, of course, Bumblebee is gonna transform similar to Nightbird. And then, so push my thumbs in and then bring this up and around. Yeah, not too bad. Look, I got them all transformed pretty quickly. All right, everyone, I'm not gonna lie. I like these a lot more than I thought I would. I really like the design of all the robot modes. The transformation is fun. And once you get a hang of it, it's not difficult at all. It's just really important to lock it in, especially this part in the robot mode, lock that in. And then that other part in the beast mode. Look, I can't even do what I say to do. Lock that in. There we go. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching today. Be sure to tune back in every week for more fun Transformers toys videos.